Well, just earlier, just to let you know, it's now nearly 20 to 5 in the morning. Just about to get my cab to the local train station in Nottingham. Then going down on the train, getting to the airport and coming to visit my baby. So here we go. I will speak to you a bit later. I love you, baby. Gorgeous, beautiful woman. Hi, just earlier. Well, just to let you know, I'm at the train station. Awaiting my train. Should be here at about 25 past 5 a.m. Nottingham train station. Not very warm at the minute. Wrapped up like a dog's dinner, but hopefully I won't have to worry about wearing all this attire once. <laughs> I'm on the plane and in a nice, hot, lovely, warm country. Can't wait to see you. Love you, gorgeous. As you can see, I'm at the train station now. Just got off the train. Right, I'm just going down to the underground station. As you can see in front, it says platform one to six international trains and underground. So I've just been told by one of the guys that I've got to get onto the Piccadilly line. Uh, yeah, no idea. It's been a long, long time. Aha, okay, so it says they're underground. So I've just got to follow this. It's probably better looking at this than looking at my face. 7.15, so the train got in about 10 minutes late. <sighs> just puts me on the back foot, but hey-ho, such is life. So now my train says six minutes. Well, it says up there that my train is now approaching. So hopefully it should be here within about 30 or seconds. about to arrive, or I should say I'm just about to arrive at Terminal 5, Heathrow Airport. Well, that's a fairly long journey from home. Okay, so I made it to Terminal 5. Ah, uh, I've got to get my ticket out of my wallet so I can get through the gate. Yeah, for some reason I tried to go through the ticket barrier and it didn't like my ticket, but the man let me through. Now time to go up the old escalator. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Or escalator, as they say. I had no time to film myself taking the PCR test as I only had about three minutes to complete it to get it done on the hour. So, I missed it. Well, I got something to eat. And a little bit of malt loaf. And told you to buy something like this, cost me five quid. It's like getting a fucking mortgage out to eat food. Ridiculous. Absolute craziness. Well, I'm in Hamad International Airport in Doha. Heading to my next gate. Anyway, I'm going to get off now. And get to where I'm going. 
gone from a six hour, 50 minute flight to another eight hour and a 30 minute flight. Wow, I feel like I've done all the flying I need to do already. Uh. Oh well. At the moment I feel wide awake, don't feel too bad, which is good. But damn, this is a long, long airport. Okay, so I've got to go to C19. C13, straight up. Whoop. So C13 is that way. And I've got a business class ticket, so hopefully I'll go on quite early and not have to worry about queuing up. Bit disappointed because I was hoping for the free Wi Fi. So there's my flight go to gate. Seems a few people here already. Looks like a few people been sleeping as well. So I'm in one of these pods. As you can see, I have a big screen, my own little shutty door. <laughs> much more comfortable here I was told this was chicken adobo with rice and some steamed vegetables well this is the first time eating this so let me see how I get on with this well it couldn't have been that bad I've eaten it actually the gravy was really really nice the chicken was just chicken but the great gravy part that was very very nice Local time 